Good afternoon, everybody. You know what today is? Today is Turkey Day. It's like Thanksgiving. And boy, do I have a lot to be thankful for. <laughs> Which, personally, I think every day should be Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful for my house. I'm grateful for my immediate family, my siblings, my ma, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles. Um, I'm grateful for my fur babies. I'm grateful for the heat in my house when it's cold. I'm grateful and thankful for the AC in the house when it's hot outside. Um, I have food to eat. I, look at me. I have more than enough food to eat. <laughs> I'm thankful for our vehicles. I'm thankful for, I don't know if I mentioned it already, my job. Yeah, there's some days I think we all get to the point it's like, oh, damn it, my badge worked again. <laughs> Other times it's like, you know what? There's so many people looking for work. I have work. I'm so blessed to have a job. It's not always, um, it's not always all that's cracked up to be. It's a job. It pays my bills. You know, uh, I mean, think about it. I'm like 54 years old. Um, I'm grateful and thankful that I've lived this long. You know how many things can happen in a person's lifetime that you don't make it this long? <laughs> Not that I'm old by no means, but car accidents, bad weather, um, just little stuff, you know, falling down the stairs. I remember one time the phone rang. I was living with mom and dad, and I just got out of the shower, and I was drying off, and I ran upstairs, and the phone rang downstairs. Well, I'm running down the steps with wet feet, and I tumbled, tumbled, I went to the bottom with, here I am, sprawled out with just a towel, and I'm thinking, I could have broke my neck. Thank God no one found me like that. But just to still be alive at 54, you know, I'm half of 108. That's amazing. I mean, how many times do you get choked? I swallow my own spit wrong sometimes, and I feel like I'm going to choke to death. You know, almost aspirate on my own spit. It's like, God, I'm going to drown. Not in, you know, a pretty, you know, pool of water, but my own saliva. <laughs> but just getting choked. Just, you know, little fender benders, just little bitty things. It's like, how many times do you put something, you know, you plug something in the receptacle and it blows a fuse? It's like, wow. I remember one time I was uh, trimming bushes and I had a hedge trimmer and I was cutting and cutting all of a sudden, hedge trimmer quit working. I'm like, what the hell, man? <laughs> I'm just getting started. They don't work. I looked, I looked, I made sure it plugged in. You know why I done? I can't believe I didn't kill myself. I was so excited about using hedge trimmers, I cut the extension cord right in half. Had one in this side, one in this side, and I'm like, <laughs> So I am grateful and thankful that I woke up this morning. And, well, okay, I worked last night, so I didn't wake up this morning. I was already up this morning. I woke up at like 1.30. But just waking up and being like, <sighs> You know, that's, that's amazing that, um, that I woke up, my feet hit the floor. A little slow, but they hit the floor, and I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I haven't got to eat my Thanksgiving dinner yet, but I'm getting ready to head over. Pretty happy about that, you know. I'm I'm happy that, you know, I don't go hungry. I can't tell you when the last time my belly growled. Isn't that something? We're so we're so blessed that our bellies don't even get that hungry anymore. And look at me, it obviously doesn't get that hungry. <laughs> I'm grateful for every single friend that I have, whether it be through my job or the Jeep Junkies or just a childhood, you know, classmates, um, my senior class. They're amazing people. 1982, Lynn Stockton High School. They are amazing people. I'm grateful for, um, I don't have enough time. I think I wouldn't be able to post this on YouTube because I'd blow it up. Facebook would be like, stop already, we know. I'm that grateful. I still got my mom. I lost my dad in 2006. Makes me sad. I think about him every day. And I miss him. I miss that man. But I still have my mom. So happy about that. I love her with all my heart. She's my best friend. And I feel so, she's 81 years old. I'm so grateful that I still have my mom. Like I said, I literally could go on and on. <laughs> Like I said, you'd be like, shut up. <laughs> we know, but I just feel like I, I'm leaving something out, and I don't want to leave anything out. 
But my other thing I'm grateful for is my other half, Cindy. She puts up with my quirky, I'm quirky. <laughs> I have things that's like, that she just puts up with. And my being funny and my humor and she laughs, even though it's probably not that funny. We get so tickled. Life with her is the best. It's like I said before, I'd rather live with her through hard times than live with others in great times because we just have that much fun. She puts up with me um, and she's very sympathetic about me going back to nights and my sleep habits. It's hard. It's hard on the household, but she's long suffering, puts up with me and I love her. <laughs> I love her, live her. <laughs> so I'm going to make this come to a stop because I could go on and on and you're, you'd be like going like, <laughs> is my ears bleeding? <laughs> but I'm very thankful. I love each and every one of you. I'm very, very thankful for your friendship and for all that you give to me. You know what I mean? Not gifts. I'm talking about uh, strength and um, you back me up. You got my back. And I appreciate all my family. I appreciate uh, my mom and my siblings and Cindy and all the people that were all tied together. And the only way to get, you know, someone made a comment about raising kids, it takes an army. Sometimes getting through this life, <laughs> it takes an army too. I appreciate all my backup. <laughs> Not my backup singers, oh, but my backup. I love you guys. You're the best. <laughs> I'm goofy. I think I said it takes an army. I'm pretty sure you t it takes a village. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a village to keep this chick right here in line. So I'm going to let you go for now. I love you guys. You have a great Thanksgiving, and I hope it's I hope it's a great day. Um, my uh, my tip to you is eat too much, take a nap, and repeat. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a nice Thanksgiving. I love you, and we'll probably talk sometime tomorrow. You have a good night. Go Cowboys! <laughs> we'll see you.